Well, I think I think the new champions, the the next Fortune 1000 or 500, whatever they are, face two principal challenges. Uh, the first is how do they grow globally? Uh, it's not just necessary to be successful or dominate or carve out a major share in your domestic market. Uh, it's essential to globalize, to expand internationally throughout the world, to take advantage of bigger markets outside your domestic market, faster growing markets if there are, faster growing markets outside your domestic market, uh, and reach consumers uh, or clients or customers uh, throughout the world. So I, the first issue that I think the new champions have to master uh, is the global challenge. And global, <clears throat> not in the Levitt sense <clears throat> of buying you know, or consumers consuming things in the same way everywhere, but, but being able to compete <clears throat> with the American multinationals, the, the, the British, the Germans, the French, the Italians, the Spaniards, uh, and in the growing companies in Asia, uh, such as in China or India, uh, to complement those those uh, already successful companies, the the Chaebols in South Korea, or the Japanese multinationals. So that's the first one. The second one <coughs> is the technological challenge. Uh, the new champions have to master uh, what is happening in technology and applying that technology to their businesses, whether they're manufacturing businesses or service businesses. And those changes uh, are taking place not only in the old world, in the West, uh, but in the new world, whether that be to the South uh, or the East, uh, and uh, whether it be in Asia, Latin America, Africa, the Middle East, or Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, so these companies have got two principal challenges, the global challenge and the technological challenge. Well, I, I think the, the new champions, um, by definition, uh, they will be primarily sourcing from Asia, Latin America, Africa, the Middle East, and Central and Eastern Europe. Th this is where we see in our own business the greatest growth rates. Uh, India and China <coughs> in our business are growing uh, at 20% a year, uh, driven by GMP growth, growth rates of 8, 9, or 10%. Uh, Russia and the other CIS countries are growing at growth rates of 35% a year. Uh, Asia Pacific, uh, uh, most of the Asia Pacific countries uh, are doing high growth rates, uh, accomplishing high growth rates, certainly faster than the, the rates that we see in the US and in particular Western Europe. So uh, I think that uh, the growth rates uh, that we will see uh, in these fast growing parts of the world mean that that will be one of the key success factors uh, for, the, for the new champions. Uh, and they are going to be uh, reflecting the growth in those markets and reflecting the change in balance of economic growth from the old to the new. This is back to the future stuff. Or thereabouts, India and China accounted for 40% of the world's GNP. Shortly, they will do so again. So this is a 200-year swing. Uh, and the new champions, the new companies, uh, the, the new Fortune 1000 will reflect the growth of these faster-growing markets. Well, I think for established companies, it brings <coughs> home to you, uh, and I think I would include ourselves in this, uh, the importance of the faster growing markets. Uh, they're often called the emerging markets, and I think that's a terribly bad, bad phrase. These are markets that are growing much, much faster, where people tend to smile more, when there isn't a land grab on uh, existing sales, uh, there's a land grab for the growth in sales. And we, I see it with our own businesses. Uh, in the Western markets, we tend to turn inward on ourselves and almost compete against one another for share and sales. In, in a market that's growing at 10% in terms of GMP or 20% uh, in terms of uh, our business, uh, which is a good example in China and, and India, uh, people tend to be much more focused on the growth opportunities and how they can grow the businesses rather than cost and cost reduction. And sadly in the West, uh, we're, we're very focused on that. And then I think uh, when you look at the impact of technological development 
on some companies. So for example, if we take China Mobile, which we value uh, through Millwood Brown as one of the top five brands in the world. Last year it was number four, and I think in the shortly to be announced results of our new brand survey, uh, again, they will be in the top five brands in the world. There are 300 million subscribers uh, to China Mobile alone. And that's equivalent to the population in the United States. And in China, there are 468 million, I think, at the last count, mobile subscribers throughout the country. Uh, and this is, a, this is a, a number that is growing by 5 million a month. So these are phenomenal growth rates. And I think what you learn when you come to Dalian is that you ignore these markets at your peril. Well, again, uh, as with global development, I think what, what you see when you come to Dalian and you look at the, the, new, the new champions, the, the new companies that will dominate the world uh, in the decades to come, you see the importance of not just manufacturing businesses, but services business, businesses too. And you see the importance in both contexts, both manufacturing and services of technology and the impact of technology, and forecasting in, in, very, in a very it's a very difficult area to do, but forecasting what the impact of those new technologies will be on those industries. Uh, and I think Dalian will be a clear uh, indicator to all of us of not only the growth of geographical uh, areas of the world, or the faster growth of those areas of the world, but the importance uh, and impact of new technology. And it's very difficult to forecast. It's very difficult, if you're not a geek like me, uh, to understand fully what's going on. Uh, surely uh, there are uh, half a dozen PhDs in Xinhua, in some garage near Xinhua or Fudan or Peking University who are going to out-Google Google. Google. Uh, and that's the impact that I think coming to Dalian uh, will be very clear to everybody, the importance, uh, the dramatic importance of changes in technology.